motherhood is often portrayed as a beautiful journey powered by unconditional love. However, not all mothers fit into this idealized image. Some mothers can be selfish and toxic, causing emotional pain and damage to their children. In this video, we will explore the dark side of motherhood through quotes about the selfish toxic mother. Mothers who are toxic only communicate, they never connect. Esteemed psychologist Sonia Friedman captures the core dysfunction in relationships with toxic mothers with her insightful quote. Toxic mothers often maintain a semblance of communication, but it's usually one-sided, focusing solely on their thoughts, needs, and emotions. This type of interaction is not about genuine connection or understanding. It's about control and dominance. The most dangerous parents are those who carry unhealed wounds. This poignant quote by celebrated author D. H. Lawrence shines a light on the often overlooked reality of generational cycles of pain and trauma. Parents who bear unhealed emotional scars can, knowingly or unknowingly, pass on these wounds to their children creating a cycle of pain that can span generations. If a mother has not addressed and healed from her own traumas, it's likely that she will repeat patterns of behavior that cause harm to her children. Children need love, especially when they do not deserve it. This quote by child psychologist Harold Hulbert encapsulates a fundamental principle of parenting. It highlights the crucial role of unconditional love in a child's life, particularly during challenging times when they may be acting out or misbehaving. A toxic mother, consumed by her own needs and struggles, often does not provide the nurturing and compassion that the child needs. Instead of offering a safe space for the child to express their emotions and make amends, she responds with disapproval or detachment, further deepening the child's pain and confusion. Healing begins where the wound was made. In this compelling quote, Pulitzer Prize-winning author Alice Walker highlights an essential aspect of healing, confronting the source of your pain. This quote suggests that to truly heal, one must first recognize and understand the origin of their wounds. In the context of toxic family relationships, this often means acknowledging harmful patterns and dynamics that have been normalized over time. If my past has taught me anything, it is to treasure the quality of life over the harshness of it. This quote serves as a beacon of hope and resilience for those who have experienced the damaging effects of toxic parenting. It underscores the idea that past experiences, no matter how painful, can serve as powerful lessons that shape our future in positive ways. The harsh realities endured from a toxic mother can leave emotional scars but they can also provide invaluable insights into what not to replicate in one's own parenting. We must not allow other people's limited perceptions to define us. Virginia Satir, pioneering psychotherapist and renowned mother of family therapy, offers an empowering perspective for those recovering from the impact of toxic parenting. She underscores the crucial notion that our self-worth should never be tethered to the negative opinions or actions of others even if these individuals happen to be our own parents. These selfish toxic mother quotes serve as guiding lights, offering hope and resilience to those who have suffered from a toxic mother's influence. They remind us that our past does not have to determine our future and that we possess the strength to redefine our narrative. Despite the hardships experienced, these quotes inspire us to rise above, to learn from our experiences, and to create a nurturing and positive environment for ourselves and future generations. Ultimately, they teach us that while we cannot change the past, we have the power to shape our future, turning wounds into wisdom and adversity into strength. For more information about narcissists and narcissistic abuse, visit www.carlacorelli.com.